Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I am headed to Triple Army Hospital this morning as I has an appointment. And one thing about this hospital in particular, one, it's always overcrowded, but it is pink. It sticks out like a sore thumb. And I've always have I've always I've always been curious as to why they decided to color the hospital pink. So I did my research and you all know I love to do my research and I found out that the hospital was built in 1944 and there was a general by the name of Richardson who decided to choose the color scheme of this hospital based on a hotel that was in Waikiki. Therefore the hospital is colored coral pink. So hey I will say this you can't miss it. You can see it on the highway. Matter of fact you can see it up in the air. <laughs> So that's that. I don't like coming here though because it will normally take me 40 to 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes to find a parking spot and it is ridiculous. But anyway, aside from that, once I get done with this appointment, I'm headed to uh, Barnes and Nobles because I am, I have three classes to take before I get my degree. You guys, I'm so excited about that. I have been pushing myself to the limit and I'm pretty overwhelmed and nervous about taking these three classes um, consecutively because Ooh, I got a lot I have a lot of responsibilities at home and I just want to get done and, and, and get it over with so I'm just gonna go to the bookstore so I can find some books to help me with my studies I will be taking Spanish fine arts appreciation and chemistry so there you have it um, and if I have some time today and if I don't I will go tomorrow but I am going to go to the habitat of humanity restore if you all haven't heard of this place I really love it I went all the time when I was back at home in Savannah and Atlanta and basically it's just a store that um, profits from donated furnishings such as home goods furnitures um, for half the price you can find a lot of your DIY projects there and I, ch and I and I intend to go to see what I can come up with because I love doing um, projects related to the house so that's that I'm gonna find me a parking spot and I will catch you guys when I get back Read the book to you. You want to bring me a book? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me see. let me have a book. Yes. Let me let me. Oh, I saw him over here. All right then. So we're just gonna pull all the books out of the shelf and put them on the couch. Is that what we're gonna do? <laughs> Sorry. Let me have a book, please. Guess this is what he's gonna do okay so so I'm pretty much all over the place oh maybe I'm not I see German German for dummies let me see if they have Spanish for dummies that will suit me just well <laughs> okay so I see Italian German German okay so this is the German section I think then that's Japanese Koreans down there let me go this way Okay, I found it. So, Spanish English Dictionary. I'm not going to buy this because I know the online web has almost everything I need as opposed to me buying this book because I'm sh this is $21.99. Maybe I can get a smaller version and get this one. Maybe a little pocket dictionary that I could use. I don't think I need a dictionary. What I need is just something to help me with my nouns, pronouns, sentence structures, so forth so on so I saw the German for dummies now if I could find the Spanish for dummies I'll be on board but I don't see it oh yes I do right here there we go oh a DVD a CD set no I just want the book just the book so I see a couple of them right here basic Spanish practice makes perfect premium selection our second edition total language study program so, oh wow, okay, yes. This is really what I'm looking for. Sentence structures, vocabulary. Okay, so I think I'm on the right path, or track rather. Better yet, how to get an A in Spanish. 
I don't know, guys. I don't know. was a fail all of this was too confusing for me I will start with the basics I will wait until I get my school books first and then if I need additional help I know where to come to get that right now I just don't know where to start and I don't even know if it's going to be beneficial for me to even purchase a book today but you know hey at least I'm proactive so I'm gonna leave here I have to pick up the girls very soon and and if I have time, I would still like to go to the Restore store. It is the next day. I did not get a chance to go to the Restore like I had planned, so I'm going today. I have somebody who is designing my patio furniture, and she's very creative, very artistic. She makes pallets out of anything, so I'm getting a pallet sofa. I will probably receive it within two weeks from today's date, so I'm excited about that. So when I go to the Restore, I am pretty much looking for some inspiration, maybe some things that I can use for my um, patio set, maybe an end table, maybe some curtains, something like that. I don't know what the inventory is at that store. Hopefully they have a lot to choose from. But if not, you know, I just really want to go and look and check it out. So, and this is my look for today. I bought the shirt from Amazon and I am wearing my Balenciaga dudes from Target. These were $7 at the time. They were on sale and that I, I believe the original price was $30, $20. I can't remember, but they are very comfortable. They look like socks. So I'm happy I bought them. Oh, and here's Zai. He got his retro going on today. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start in the clearance section. There's a lot of nice glasses here. I see a dollar fifty. This is fifty cents. This one is a dollar fifty. I like these mugs. Very nice. They have a lot of picture frames and decor. What is this? Three bucks. Pen holder. This is two dollars. Let's look over here. A lot of mugs. I don't want those. Some trash cans, some suitcases. Okay, we're gonna go down a little further and see what else they have. I don't know. I might actually take some of these glasses home. This is a dollar. This is like my Dollar Tree right here <laughs> since we don't have one. Uh, I might take a couple of these. I can put some pebbles in here. Maybe a couple of flowers, something like that. I don't know right now. Wow, I remember, I remember having this mirror as a kid. My grandma used to have one. Oh look, Sally Beauty, <laughs> four dollars and twenty-five cents. That's the hair salon mirror. Okay, put that down. I see a couple of pots and pans over here, and a hot plate right there. And then, oh. <laughs> And some staplers, staplers, two dollars and twenty-five cents. These are really good um, bargains right here. Okay, I'm gonna go on the other side and see what furniture they have. My mom owns this same mirror, and she still has it today. Oh no, you're fine. You're okay. Um, she still has it hanging up too. Fifty-two dollars. I don't know. Maybe this is a mirror that everybody had back in the day, but I usually see a lot of people have one of these in their home. This one is $25. This looks like a dressing mirror. And they have three of them, four of them, the exact same. Hmm, okay. And see, this is really in good condition. I know it has some scuff marks, some dings here and there, but honestly, for this price, this is pretty good, especially for people that are really trying to, um, you know, start from scratch. They don't have much, but this is what they can afford. So this is really good, a good price to start with. They do have a couple of mattresses. That box screen right there is $40. That one, this is $25. That there is $25. And just a couple of others around here. Some more mirrors. Oh, this tall mirror right here. This is only $35. I'd be like, it's not bad. <laughs> right? <laughs> nice, oh. and <laughs> nice and peaceful. Nice and peaceful. Now here's one thing I love to see. I was telling Anthony I wanted to get an upright freezer so we can put more um, food 
away and store it. So I see a couple of here, a couple that are here. Uh, these I probably won't be interested in, but these down here, they look pretty new. 137, this isn't bad. Looks very clean. But this is a fridge and a freezer unit. I just need one freezer. So these are really in good condition. And it comes with a large tray. This one is 240. Same here. I think all the rest of them are the same price. 240. Okay, we're gonna go on the other side. Let's see, they have some miniature stoves over here. Over the range microwave, 390. This is really good. This is in real good condition. Brand new actually. Built in. These are tiny. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I would not manage if I had a stove like that. How much is this? 110? Wow, I have never seen a stove that small before in my life. If you need to replace some doors, you can take these, repaint them. Um, one little project that will save you some time and money. Um, here's some panels right here. This is $3. $2 actually, this one's $2. Um, some of the other ones vary in price, but this there's a four dollar. That's a three dollar right there Okay, all right Wow, this is a nice set. This is sixty four dollars You probably refinish this tabletop As well as the cushions here the chairs are thirty eight dollars a piece Am I reading that right good condition needs a new cushion? Chair, I think they're all yeah, each chair is thirty eight dollars I wouldn't buy that. I think that's a little too expensive. By the time you total all this up together, you can practically buy you a new one. So they have a lot of sofas over here. This sectional, right here, the sectional is $312. In my opinion, this, it has a lot of wear and tear. I don't think that price is suitable for this sofa set, or I'm sorry, the sectional. But, you know, to each his own. All right, well, I did not find anything that really excites me. Um, I usually will come back periodically because since things are donated frequently, you can really find some good hidden treasures. But at the moment, I don't see anything that I want to take home and utilize. Um, this is a nonprofit organization, so a lot of the things, like I mentioned before, is donated to this store, and they will sell it for the fraction of the price. So that's a good thing. But I'm going to leave here. I don't know what else I'm going to do for the rest of the day, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. It is lunchtime and I'm going to eat somewhere where I've never thought that I would have lunch at. <laughs> I'm at a grocery store called Back to Earth or is it Down to Earth? <laughs> One of the two was on Earth. And I was looking at the menu online. I didn't see anything that caught my attention but I'm gonna go inside anyway and see what they have. I'm really craving something light. I don't want anything heavy today and maybe uh, some bubble tea if they have it or maybe a smoothie so. Ready? get a cart first. Let's get a cart. <laughs> and then was it a ticket? Oh, yeah. I bought the ticket. I know this doesn't make any sense, but it smells very organic in here. <laughs> it smells very different. Okay, so I'm in the all vegetarian all the time. Okay, so it's a vegetarian grocery store. Maybe not. I don't know. So they have a salad bar and they have something over here. I'm not going to pronounce some of these names, but um, hmm. Okay, what else do they have? So roasted squash medley, lasagna. There's some soup over here. Miso soup, spinach potato soup, and uh, over here they have some pizza. And like I said, we're not gonna go heavy today. Mm, made to order pizza bar. I'm gonna check out that bread section over there. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know, I think I'm gonna just get a salad today. Chicken salad, mock chicken salad. What do y'all think? Does this look appetizing to you guys? I did find the baked goods section. What do they have? Banana bread, mango bread, chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> I don't need to be here, guys. <laughs> 
sweets are the death of me. Okay, so I'm just gonna get a salad and not make this so hard on myself. Before I eat my salad, I wanted to look around a bit to see what the store is really about. I do know that it's organic and probably has healthier options. I just really never shopped in here before. Oh, okay, so I see sparkling water. It's not bad for $1.59. And I see some chips over here. In my opinion though, some of these bags are a little bit too expensive for me, like $5.59 for grain-free chips. Oh wow, they have Terra uh, chips. These are my favorite. The only versions I will eat though are the Mediterranean ones and Hawaii doesn't have it. I have yet to see the Mediterranean bag, but they have sweet plantains. Oh, they have the regular versions with sea salt. I didn't know that they carried these. I'm actually gonna get this bag today. Frozen food. Now, I will be honest, I've tried the So Delicious Dairy-Free ice cream, and I think you just really have to appreciate the way it tastes because I did not like it at all. Um, I didn't go back for seconds. That wasn't, I, I didn't like it. I, I didn't like the way it tastes. And I think it's made with soy milk, or did I get the soy version? I occasionally eat the Garden of, of meals as well. The chicken patties are good. They really do taste like chicken. And then there's one other, I can't, I don't see it. Oh, they're right there. Let me open the door so you can see it better. When I tell you the chicken sliders are so good, these are bomb. Don't sleep on this one. This is really good. Well, that's going to be it for today's vlog, guys. I really hope you enjoyed my adventure. If you did, make sure you subscribe. I will hope to see you all next week. And again, I apologize for not uploading last week, but sometimes life gets really too busy. But other than that, you all have a great week, and I will see you all next time. Bye.